wrote out a schedule for the whole Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to day one of Vlogmas. Guys, we're currently cleaning our stuff and he's being so stingy. If I leave a crumb out and he's wiping the table, he will wipe all around the crumb and be like, pick up your crumb. <laughs> My mother taught me a valuable lesson. If you make a mess, it's your job to clean it. I will have like one so, crumb here and he will be like, you pick up your crumb right now. When I get back, I want that crumb gone. When you're literally wiping <laughs> the table. <laughs> We're currently um, cleaning the house because the house is a mess right now. I'm gonna start mopping, but ah, ah! Paige, please. We didn't, we didn't need to change it. <laughs> Why are your socks not we matching? We didn't need to change it. Well, we'll change it now. We need to change the okay, schedule, okay. guys. That's our schedule back there. It's bougie as hell. I know. Yeah, we wrote out a schedule for the whole day, and then we time. have different papers. And we forgot to change it. We haven't even followed the schedule in the past few days. Okay, well the past few days have been rough. <laughs> Is it staying in focus? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I'm making coffee, iced coffee. So, they look like this. I'm not even in this. It's like this, right? So you just have to cover it off. That was a fail. I'm a savage. Do you know what's Booty. We're currently Damn. about to pay our rent. Damn. Oh my gosh, why is it so much money? First rent paid. All right, guys, it's time for cooking with Paige. Yay! Also, I just got this round paper. I door dashed it. Also, this, these three things were six dollars, and I door dashed it because we can't take Jack's car right now. And then the delivery fee or taxes or whatever, not like the whatever. I don't know. It was five dollars. So I literally just paid so much money for these these wrapping paper. Anyways, I'm just. Oh, you go. I. Don't know what's wrong with me today, but I've been having such a rough day. Like everything is just making me mad for some reason, and I'm in just such a fucking bad mood for no reason. I have like everything has bothered me today. Everything. Like why? Why is this air fryer out? I'm gonna make what I make all the time: chicken and asparagus and rice. So. I was this close to ordering sushi, but I was like, you know what, no, because it's getting bad. We already ordered food this morning for breakfast. You know what, I will order food, but I will not order food two days in a row. I mean, two times in a day. Okay, starting off, there's a random candle here. It's wide all the Oh, I do have tea. Starting off with the chicken. Oh my gosh, guys, I cut my hand so bad. I don't know why I would have ADHD right now. I cut, I got a paper cut on my, on my hand. I have this chicken. And we're gonna be cooking this. Also, okay, chicken and rice is not the most delicious thing in the world. But for some reason, I don't know what I've been doing, but I make it taste so good. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have to tell you about what happened today at the doctor's, like a OBGYN, just to like check off on like all of my, um, you know, woman's health, if you will. But I went and I didn't know what to expect because I, my periods, guys, are like insanely awful. I was like, I need to like fix this. So I was like, I'm gonna go on birth control. So I don't know. I went and I'm probably gonna do it, but I don't know. There's all, I don't know. It's let me know if it's bad or not because I'm going to, but I don't know. I don't think anything can be worse than my periods. Well, I'm gonna come over. How do I do this? I need a tripod, bro. All right, and that's fine. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but I have the chicken here. It's a lot of chicken. Anyways, so I went to the doctor today. I didn't know it was like an actual doctor, right? I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna cut it in half so it's thinner because I want my chicken, my chicken to be cooked all the way through. And I didn't know it was like an actual like, oh my gosh, why is there so much chicken? <laughs> Hospital where it was like you have like patients and shit. 
So I can't focus. There's chicken and I'm touching really cold chicken with my fingers. I've been like delaying getting out the birth control because I just, I've seen like a lot of, have you seen those videos where that person takes out the tendons with a fork? I'm gonna try that because I didn't say that part. I've heard a lot of side effects, right? So I was like, I'm just gonna go and talk to her about it because I'm dying. And I want to go before I get my next period again. When apparently going to the gynecologist is like a normal thing that women do, right? I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to go in. I'm going to talk to this lady for a little bit and it'll be fine. I go in and they're like, take off your clothes and put on this gown. And I was like, why am I getting naked? Put on that little nightgown or whatever, that gown. Ugh, I'm taking the tendon up. This lady asked me all these questions, whatever, you know what I mean? And she's like putting me in the system. I go and then first off, they asked for a urine sample. I was like... Ew, disgusting. After that, they're like, we're just gonna check like your body just to see if everything is good. Like you don't have breast cancer or anything else or like whatever, you know what I mean? So this lady, I don't know if this is just me just sounding like a stupid idiot teenager who doesn't know what they're doing. My mom didn't tell me either. I was telling my mom I was going and she didn't tell me anything. I was like, you you, you, you did not tell me any this was gonna happen. And this lady takes my arm out of the nightgown. Obviously she asked and she's like, it's okay. Like I'll walk you through everything. But she takes my arm out of the thing and she starts poking my boobs, or starts poking my my watermelons. And I was like, what the fuck? She was just like, I'm just looking for any signs of breast cancer or whatever, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, it was so weird. And I was just like avoiding eye contact and I was like, this lady goes, okay, now we need to check you, like to make sure that like your uterus is fine and blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay. She tells me that she's gonna be looking inside of me and I was like, what are you talking about, woman? You crazy. I was like, oh, like, what is this for? And she was like, oh, you know, it's just to make sure that all your hormones are good and all your levels are good. And we need to test you before we put you on anything. And I was like, okay. She pulled out these things, heel things for your heels, right? Because I'm laying down on this thing. And then she made me open my legs. Uh, and then she pulls out this huge thing. She goes, okay, so I'm just going to insert this swab to get like a swab, whatever. Ew. And then she whips out this it was like this it was the size of my arm literally the size and it, and it's supposed to go in and open i was like that's going inside of me and then she was like oh is that are you not comfortable with that we don't have to do it i was like girl what are you talking about <laughs> she didn't put it inside me though which is good Woo. she still had to get a swab so this lady put that oh my god i can't even talk about it Whatever, and I was like shaking. It was actually terrifying. Just some like stuff that no one tells you as you get older. Like why did no one, why have I never heard about this ever in my entire life? Oh look at my chicken. My chicken looks pretty good, by the way. Uh, um, start seasoning it. But why does no one tell you this stuff? This is important stuff. Like, oh my gosh. I literally was traumatized afterwards. I was like shaking. As I was walking back, I literally was walking and looking into these rooms. There's rooms with like, black like huge black things like this for your legs to go on so your legs are like bro what about when i give birth i'm never giving birth ever <laughs> i was crying afterwards so i felt violated but i was like you know what it's fine this is what i'm gonna have to do as a woman but it was awful guys awful yeah and then jack took me to go get some frozen yogurt because i was so sad <laughs> yeah, so that happened today that was fun um what else Gosh, i was in such a bad mood today i still am everything is just irritating me i don't know why i'm probably gonna get my period soon but like Oh my gosh. I, I Also, I need to buy a car, guys. I, I keep delaying buying a car because I'm like, Jack has a car. I don't even go anywhere. I don't need a car. But I need a car so bad. Also, guys, if you guys haven't joined our Discord, um, you should join it because it's a lot of fun. This looks pretty good, though. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, look at my fingers. Alright, so this is the chicken after I seasoned it. I don't know why it's all clumpy. Can I get a kiss? Can I make a mess forever? Mm. Thank you, Sean. Alright. Alright. I looked at my snap memories from a year ago today. I don't know what, what the hell I was doing, but I was working out at 5.30 a.m. That's crazy. You won't catch me. I am so paranoid when it comes to chicken because, oh my gosh, guys, one time I got salmonella. I got food poisoning of some kind, and it was actually the worst thing ever. Like, you always hear people talking about food poisoning and salmonella, blah, blah, blah. But, oh my gosh, you don't know until you've had it. Smell that good? I got it.
Look at this. Oh my gosh. I should be a chef. And a lot of people don't agree with this, but hear me out, okay? So you wanna grab your, your bags of rice. These are fro this is frozen rice. We just cooked rice and then put them in the freezer. You wanna open your fancy little microwave, okay? Open that baby up. You wanna put them in. Oh, you wanna open the bags by like a little bit just so it lets the air out and explode, but okay. Open them up like this, right? So there's a little hole. Put in the microwave. Do one at a time. Close it. One minute on the clock. You guys, fresh and easy rice. I don't know if you're supposed to microwave plastic because it might give you, um, I think I looked it up one time and, oh my gosh, my eyelash. Um, I looked it up one time and it said that like the things in the plastic can be really bad for you, but I think it's an Asian thing to like microwave rice, but it's so good and it's so easy and you can have fresh rice whenever you want. <laughs> Why is it so small? It's not. Dude, it's not those serious. asparagus have zero girth. I'm currently editing the video because I'm just grinding so hard and I'm doing this every single day and I also have my crumble cookie over here so it's a little hot but what else would I have? I have Victoria's playing in the background. Pretty good night if you ask me but yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> see you guys tomorrow oh my gosh what's gonna happen tomorrow? <gasps> I don't know. Okay bye guys.